Wagner. Announcers are not licensed attorneys. Shalom. What's going on, my brothers and sisters, man? We're back in the land of the living, are we not? Man, it's a good day, man. It's a good day. I'm off work. Elohim is good, man. No room to complain. No room to put any room for negativity, man. Really is it. But I come today to make a video. Man, I really don't want to open anything. Man, this sun will beat your head in. But that's Florida for you. Uh, I wanted to make a video, man, pertaining to being prepared, having a prepared mindset on this call. I like to call this message, what if? What if? We live in a time and age, we live in a society where everything is, you know, cashless society. Everything is given. Everybody wants everything given to them. Everybody wants someone to... Uh, to me, be in control where they can just not have the, get the hand. You know, I tell you what, people like to have the handcuffs on them. They don't want the, the handcuffs off of them mentally, spiritually, and physically. They don't. They don't. We end up win a microwave lifestyle where everybody wants everything microwave pop, poop. It is in the, in, the, in the microwave, boom, it's done very quickly. And I'm not talking about just food, but everything just given, man. You got a welfare mindset that the way you don't want to come up out of the, the situation or come up out of the world that we're living in. That's why, you know, it's time for you to come from among them spiritually and physically and mentally. It's time to come from among these, the ones I like to call the zombies that are stuck in that soul taker, a.k.a. the smartphone. And just they just walk around and just completely oblivious. They're so oblivious of the times. Some people are so oblivious, not just the times that we're living in, that the end days that we're living in. Also in the time and age where... They don't even understand what preparation really means by being prepared. Have you ever thought about this thing? Just this, this, this think about this. Have you ever thought about one day you wake up in the morning, you're going to work, or you with your family? And that just say, you got to remember, you live in America where anything can happen, a false flag, or anything can happen at any given time. You know, I'm, I'm right now, okay, I'm going to put my situation in, 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 the, uh, in the forefront right now, and this is this what I'm saying. I'm all the way out on the south side of Jacksonville, Florida. I'm um, probably about 15, 20 miles out away from my house. That's where I work at. All the way 20 miles away, 20 miles back. That's just say if they want to declare martial law or a missile strike. This happened to hit the city or a biohazard weapon. or just let, nah, Let's not even put that out there. Let's just say traffic is really bad. Uh, 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 something really bad happened. Fire on the interstate. And you're running out of gas or... Or you can't get home in a couple hours. Or let's just say that it's shoot an EMP missile. Man, I'm throwing out all kinds of scenarios because these things can happen. So let's just say an EMP missile happens, right? And boom, it happens over the middle of, of the America. An EMP missile is going to take out anything that has anything that has electronics. Anything that works off a of battery. Anything that's electronic, ladies and gentlemen. Shutting it off. Boom, it's done. Are you prepared in your car to have... Give me a second here. To have your get home bag. Get home bag, ladies and gentlemen. Your get home bag. My get home bag is full of, I got two mags in there. Two mags for my pistol. I have first aid kit. I have uh, some rations in there. I have uh, 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 two flares in there. I got, um, um, what else do I have in my bag? I have... Uh, uh, extra uh, pants or uh, have uh, another shirt a rain jacket in there uh, I have uh, um, glow sticks at night just in case you know you got to be able to somebody need to be able to see you um, I have a water purified water purification tablets um, I have a, a, just, I have enough to where if I had to leave my car and walk back home or run or whatever the case may be I can do it and I also got enough ammunition to be able to protect me just in case things hit the fan out here and you got these zombies trying to take what you have because they're going to want your life we're coming into a time and age where you think the walking dead is just a sitcom or a show and they've been making this stuff up somebody somewhere knows something that's coming down the, down the pipe and you got to have a mindset the way you got to be prepared. See, spiritually, you can be awake and be, be smart in, in God's holy word. 
in, in the Torah. You can be smart in the Torah, man. And you can be smart in all these other different things. But if you're not not awake and being prepared of what's to come, what about your family that's in the car? Uh, are you are you do you have enough in there to protect them? In my trunk, I got some more shoes. You know, I got a um, I got a brand new um, 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 uh, sleeping bags in there. You know, I got more water. I got canned goods in my trunk. And I drive a Jaguar, okay? I got a small Jaguar, but I am prepared to, for things just in case it happens. Are you thinking about the things that you need to be prepared about? Or are you just walking around being completely oblivious, running to your nine to five, running after this world, running after your dollar? Creating businesses is fine. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with that, man. God is blessing you. That's awesome. But do not forget about the things that you must be prepared for. Just like Noah prepared. Just like all other disciples prepared. They, they did things that they had to do to prepare. You got to start thinking about this up here, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to start using this. Because if you're not prepared for what's to come, because it's coming. You know, you can walk around and say, oh, I ain't going to never happen. This, man, you better look. turn on the world news. Stop watching this 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 bull crap. Uh, your city city news that's feeding you the poison, the fake the fake news that's feeding you all this garbage. Look at world news. Look at what's going on over there across seas. Look at what's going on uh, just right here in this country where false flags happen all the time. You can be sitting right in there inside your uh, inside your normal mom and pops uh, place, getting you some dinner or McDonald's or whatever microwave food place processed garbage you want to eat. You're sitting in there, you're having a good time with your family, all of a sudden somebody running in there, boom, 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 boom. If you don't even carry a gun, you don't even carry a weapon to be prepared for your family, how are you going to come out of there alive? Yes, Father Yah is going to protect you to a point, but God also gives you wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. That's why he says man should perish because of lack of knowledge. Okay, the technology is here, ladies and gentlemen. You got all these things out here to prepare you. You can go on YouTube. You can talk to people like me. You got to get around like-minded people, ladies and gentlemen. You got to get away from these people that ain't, ain't trying to wake up and want to be prepared. I hope you're stocking up water. I hope you're stocking up food. Because we're coming into a time and age where import and export can stop like that. And if it does, ladies and gentlemen, are you stocking up enough things to get your family prepared to down, for down the road? Or maybe a month, a couple weeks. A storm happens right here in Florida called Hurricane Harvey. The food and everything was gone in three days, right off the shelves. Walmart was shot. All Win Dixie's, all other little small grocery stores were gone. Everything was gone. Generator, do you have one? Do you got extra gas stocked up? Never let your car go past a quarter of a tank. I gotta put 93 in my car. It's pretty expensive, but I'm just saying, be prepared. So, this message is called What If? Mentally, spiritually, and physically, ladies and gentlemen, are you coming off this processed food garbage where they got you sitting around allowing your children to be obese? You're throwing the cell phone in the front of their face. You want them, you want to net the technology to teach your children instead of you teaching your children about being prepared. I, I refuse to allow my family to go down this rabbit hole and be caught up in this agenda and this beast agenda and all these things that's coming to the forefront. The New World Order cares nothing about you, ladies and gentlemen. They want to eradicate anyone out of the DNA pool. Depopulation control is a real thing. But I digress on that. We'll talk about that another day. Get home bag that I showed you. It's time to start getting those things in order. If you're a law-abiding citizen like myself and you carry, stock up on ammunition. I don't trust nobody. I trust no man. So with that being said, get right. <laughs> Or get left. Okay? I leave you in peace. Shalom.